Russian forces bombed the outskirts of Kiev on Wednesday, a day after Russia said it was scaling back attacks there, a move the West dismissed as a ploy by Russian invaders to regroup. Intensified bombardment could be heard on Wednesday morning. In an address to the European Committee of the Regions, Kiev Mayor Vitaly Klitschko said battles were taking place near the Ukrainian capital. We received uh, uh, yesterday information right now the Russian forces move uh, away from Kiev. It's not true. Whole night we listen to sirens. This means it's a reckless attack and we listen to a huge explosion uh, east of Kiev and north of Kiev. It's uh, mean it's battles there. The people died, still died. Reuters journalists near the Kiev suburb of Irpin heard frequent shelling and explosions on the ground and in the air. The attacks came just one day after Russia said it would curtail operations near Kiev and the northern city of Chernihiv to increase mutual trust for peace talks. Ukrainians who fled spoke of shells landing in Irpin and bodies in the streets. Yulia Kalmutska said she hid with 37 other people in a basement. They came under fire by Russian machine guns and the building caught fire. I buried four people close to me, my father, I buried two young guys who were my neighbors. They couldn't reach the entrance of the building and got shot by Russian troops. And an elderly woman who was cooking and came under fire. Ukraine and Western leaders had cautioned that Moscow's apparent peace gesture at Tuesday's talks in Istanbul was a cover for reorganizing forces that had failed to take Kyiv or any other major city nearly five weeks into an invasion. Erpen itself was recaptured by Ukrainian forces this week. Reuters journalists who entered on Tuesday saw Ukrainian troops patrolling an abandoned ghost town of ruined buildings. The United Nations said on Wednesday that the number who have fled the country had risen above 4 million. More than half of those refugees are children and the rest mostly women.